Today's subject is literally about our nervous system and how that is a critical component of our response to stress and our recovery from stress. So we have a system called basically our central nervous system where we can control our muscles. Open, close, turn our heads. Basically it's the muscles that we have control over. I'm doing it when I speak. That is our central nervous system. Now, our autonomic nervous system are things in our system that are automatic. Digesting food, pumping adrenaline into our system when we are stressed out. It is blinking, breathing, pumping blood in our system. All the things that we don't have to worry about because they're on autopilot. Now, one idea I'd like to leave with you is that mastery is the ability to take control of the autonomic nervous system in greater and greater and greater increments. The more control you have over your autonomic nervous system, the more you can respond to difficult situations in a very intentional way. So today is about gaining control over the autonomic nervous system. First thing we need to know is that within the autonomic nervous system are there two categories. There's a sympathetic nervous system and a parasympathetic nervous system. So we'll talk about each one. So the sympathetic nervous system is about speeding up. So the nervous system that speeds us up is based in our mouth. So when you open our mouth, we activate a nervous system in our body called the sympathetic nervous system. S in sympathetic to me means speed up. So it's about fighting danger. It's about running away from danger. It's about activating and creating and pardon me, completing lots of tasks at hand. It's about pushing through things. It's about moving powerfully. Now, this system is activated in athletes all the time. You see them running and they're gulping large amounts of air. Well, air is fuel. When we're pushing hard, air is fuel. We open our mouth, we take in a big gulp of air, and we send a message to our body. Hey, I'm speeding up. I need a lot of fuel in my system to do the task at hand. So it's almost impossible to be relaxed and comfortable if we're breathing in and out through our mouth. Pretty soon, I'm going to get activated. The emotions, anger, sadness, laughter, <laughs> all these move in ways that air goes in and out of our mouth. When we laugh, get angry, and cry, this speeds us up. So our emotions are directly linked to the sympathetic nervous system. So the sympathetic nervous system, again, is about speeding up, meeting danger, running away from danger, completing tasks at hand rapidly, basically speeding up. Now, here's the other nervous system. The other nervous system is called the parasympathetic nervous system. Now, the parasympathetic nervous system is the one that slows us down, and it starts with the letter P, and I think of P and parachute, parasympathetic, and parachute, it's kind of my my mnemonic for remembering it. Sympathetic is S for speed up and parasympathetic is para for parachute and slow down. So the parasympathetic nervous system is based in our nose. When we breathe in through our nose, we calm down the sympathetic nervous system and we activate the parasympathetic nervous system. This is about recovery. This is about recuperation. This is about recharging our batteries. This happens when we relax and go, I just went parasympathetic. The opposite is, there I am, I'm sympathetic. So we can control our responses in these two nervous systems directly by how we breathe. Sometimes, if we're slow and lethargic, it's a good idea to breathe in and out through your nose. I'm sorry, breathe in and out through your mouth. And that'll speed you up. If we're sped up and we need to slow down, Breathing in and out through your nose slowly will slow you down. So that's today's installment, parasympathetic and sympathetic. Each one's activated by a different kind of breathing. The question is, what kind of breathing would be most beneficial to you? Thanks.